Now, mean free path. So what actually this mean free path? Again, a simple topic, but let me give you the clarity. Guys, this mean free path is denoted by lambda. It is denoted by lambda. And uh, how do we talk about it? Let me explain. Please be attentive. So again, let me say that we have a container. Let me say that this is the container. And in this container, we are having those ideal gas molecules. Yes, sir. And as we have already discussed this thing, that these ideal gas molecules, as I said, identical, then obviously they are identical and we know that they are spherical in shape. So let me say that, sir, we are having these identical gaseous molecules in this container. Like this. Okay, sir, let us consider them like this. Now, guys, these ideal gas molecules, they are having a tendency to move randomly in that container. Yes, sir, these ideal gas molecules, they are moving randomly. As we know that intermolecular forces between them are going to be zero. And due to those random motions, guys, don't you think that these molecules are frequently colliding with each other? Yes, sir. There are frequent collisions between them or, or rather among them. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So let me talk about any molecule. Let me talk about any uh, molecule here. Let us say that I, I am talking about this molecule. This molecule is traveling like this. It uh, collides with this one. Yes, sir. Then it collides with this one. Yes, sir. Then it collides with this one and so on. It is randomly colliding with yeah you know like uh, another molecules okay 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 so one thing is for sure and what is that sir as they are moving uh, or as they are in random motion as they are in random motion then There are frequent collisions. There are frequent collisions among them. Yes, sir. Absolutely. It's happening over there. Yes, Jovita. Obviously, these are elastic collisions. But guys, can we clearly say that, sir, distance traveled between two successive collisions by a molecule is always going to be a straight line. Have a look. Between two successive collisions, this distance will be a straight line. Yes. But in general, if we talk about these frequent collisions, then guys, isn't it some zigzag path? Yes, sir. Obviously. Obviously. So uh, what I can say next, that's a distance traveled by a molecule between two successive collisions successive means one after another between two successive collisions is straight line yes sir this distance is going to be straight line now my question is my question is that sir every time when a molecule have those successive collisions then guys, is this distance or is this distance uh, is going to be constant? What do you say? Is in straight line. Is it every time constant? No, Hussaina, no. As these molecules are having different speeds, as these molecules are having different speeds, then guys, if we say that sir, collision between this and this, is let me say having uh, this distance is let me say certain x1. So is it necessary that uh, between this and this, it's also going to be, this is also going to be x1. Can it be? No. Because sir, all these molecules are having different velocities. So yes, one thing is for sure that the separation between these, uh, uh, you know, like uh, due to these frequent collisions, the separation is going to be straight line. But this straight line is having different length every time. Why? Because these gaseous molecules are having random velocities. Yes, sir. 
that's why we consider average values or average distance traveled and that average distance traveled is simply known as mean free path mean free path here is the definition now have a look the mean free path is the average distance covered by a molecule between two successive collisions so why do we consider that average distance because uh, whenever any molecule is having those frequent collisions with those neighboring molecules then it is not a necessity that every time that a straight line distance is going to be same hence we consider that average value we consider that average value i hope now everyone have got the clarity what does it mean by mean free path got it now hmm. okay so what is the expression for this mean free path sir it is lambda and this lambda is defined as 1 upon root 2 pi n d square and here this n is number of molecules per unit volume number of molecules per unit volume Okay, sir. Sometimes in questions, it can also be given as number density. What it can be given as? Number density. Okay. Or number density. So, number density means number of molecules in unit volume. And what is this small d? This small d is given as diameter. Diameter of the molecule. Yes, sir. This diameter is the molecule. It's n. It's not eta. It's n. Small n. Small n. Okay, now it's a small n. Okay. Everyone, have a look on this explanation and let me know have you got the clarity here? What actually it is? Yes, we have that formula of time as well. In that form, uh, time, we have to consider that average speed as well. So this tau or t is equal to 1 upon n pi v average into d square. V average into d square. So this v average is that average distance by which that particular molecule is traveling.